mean, a lot of people now will say, well, if you've wanted, you know, why not go into music full time? And um, well, for one thing, I, I produce my music independently, so it, there's a, a cost to that, which I can't deny. Um, and I've, I've always enjoyed having a little bit of artistic freedom. No, having a lot of artistic freedom, um, which I think having an income from a separate uh, job is helpful. You know, I, I don't have to necessarily sign with a label and then have to meet their demands in terms of what my albums are going to look like. For example, doing the after having won a Juno for a jazz album, switching gears and doing a children's album was a bit unconventional, but I only had to answer myself. I believe in little things like you and me. When you're kind of in close proximity to someone who is more or less famous. It, it's a really weird feeling. I googled her name, found out she had a Wikipedia page, which is pretty cool in my opinion. My sister had had her as a teacher and I really enjoyed her music so I kind of came here and I was like <laughs> I'm not really sure if my students are aware of what I do because I don't talk about it in class very often. Um, the Junos kind of raises the profile so if I'm trying to do the Clark Kent it's a bit hard because it's publicized and, and they're aware of that but um, I sort of keep the two professions a little bit separate. So for music and teaching to work in tandem for me it usually means that my what it would be a break from school is actually when I get you know, hard at work with my music. So March break was uh, six days in the studio for me, working on the next album. So yeah, for me, there's not really like a break. They're just like a switching, <laughs> switching of scenery. Sometimes I'll just say, you know, that you know, being an artist of any kind, I think, is challenging, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't cut it out of your life, you know, because th there's so much pressure on kids these days to to pick a, a job profession at a young age and sort of work in a very linear way towards that. And I have, I have personally felt the, the, you know, the benefit of not being unilateral and looking a little across the spectrum. And I'm very happy that I have, I'm actually really happy that I have two very different jobs.